All right, guys. Uh, here we are. Sunday, January 19th, I think it is. I'm still getting used to this whole camera thing. I'm not exactly the most outgoing person. So for me to put out these YouTube videos is a little bit of a challenge for multiple reasons. But um, I want to start saying, talking a little bit about why I do what I do. And that's probably going to be the title of this video. Um, I was thinking in church today. Yeah, my mind wanders off when I'm in church. We'll talk about that. Um, but I told my wife, I said, I don't think I'm going to make a video today. It's too darn cold out there. She said, you can't chicken out now. So here we are making a video. But anyways, why do we give the cows a 60-foot strip by 270 foot strip. So 60 foot by 270 foot roughly. Why don't we just give them this whole thing? Makes more sense, wouldn't it? Less time out here. If the cows have water and they got food, why do I need to be out here every day? <clears throat> well, I've heard different guys say that a cow eats with five mouths. I'm gonna take that a step further and say they eat with six. They eat with their mouth, of course, and then they have four legs, four hooves. And then they have a butt and some other parts. So obviously that cow takes a bite with its mouth. And everywhere that cow steps, it, it defiles that forage. So they don't want to eat that either. I don't really like walking on my food either. So, And then where they go to the bathroom. It's pretty self-explanatory why they don't want to eat that. Um, so... If we give them this whole thing, those cows, they're not a lot different than us. They have certain things they like. Um, <clears throat> and they go after those things first. And they search around looking for those things. Uh, whether it be the specific forage, um, the tenderness at the time of that forage, different things. So when they do that, when they're running all over the place, uh, they're trampling. They're going to the bathroom. So in a sense, they're wasting that forage, a lot more of it at once, but it's not really waste. Another topic for another day. But when they go into a small area, say like we give them each day, 60 foot by 270 foot, and that's just rough. There's no science behind that. That's just how this works out in this particular field. They go into that new piece and instincts or what, what have you, their tendency is to put their head down and start grazing. They're not quite as picky, so they're not moving as much. They're not trampling on as much. Um, and the idea, again, back to that 60 foot by 270 foot, it's, it's a guess, a, an educated guess, if you will, of how much intake they need that day. Um, so, yeah, so that's, you know, there's a whole list of things that we can we'll discuss here um, moving forward as to why I do what I do. But another aspect of why I farm the way I farm. I believe uh, in creation. I farm the way that I farm because <clears throat> nature, if you will, um, this was all designed by a, a God who's in the heavens, who... I'm not that smart here. If anybody wants to argue with me over this stuff, you can you can make me look like a fool. I don't know all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I just think it's important for people to understand that my number one goal is to give God the glory for everything that I do here. Um, I wasn't a farmer. I don't come from a farming family. I have had some distant uncles and whatnot that are farmers, <clears throat> but I don't have any immediate farmers in my family. Um, so I, I, I call this a God-given desire to do this. And farmers get a bad rap nowadays for destroying the earth. Um, farmers don't make any money. That's our food. That's, without farmers, we don't eat. It should be a highly respectable, high-income earning career. It really should. Um, but we have so many options for cheap food. 
But with cheap food, it's just like anything else in this country, this world. You get what you pay for. People were often saying, oh, that place is too, too pricey on their meat. How do they raise their meat? If those cows are standing in knee-deep muck, being fed corn every day. And another thing I need to say as a disclaimer, I am not knocking anybody's method for farming. Farming is a tough thing and that's just, that's all there is to it. I, I don't know, I know I'm just scratching the surface with what I'm learning about farming. So please, please, please hear me when I say I am not knocking anybody else's method to farming. I'm just trying to explain my way of doing it and why I'm doing it. I feel like my mouth is starting to not move as much. Anyways, um, this video is already six minutes long and I'm trying to make shorter videos for right now that I don't have to piece together because this whole video editing thing, whew, not really my cup of tea. But anyways, now you see why maybe I drift off during church. I can't even keep my mind straight when I'm making a video here. But anyways, okay, back to, back to creation, back to why I'm doing what I'm doing. There's so much that I'm learning here that I see God, his handiwork and all this. And I'm going to take that a step further and say, if you don't believe in creation right now, okay, okay. That's your choice. That's the beauty of it. The God that I serve, the God that I believe sent his son to die on a cross for me. You, you don't even want to begin to talk about my mistakes, but he died for you as well. Uh, his design is perfect. It really is. But let's let's get off that for a second. Nature. I mean, some want to just call it nature or whatever. If we let this system work and we don't... I don't know. I don't know where I want to go with that exactly. But um, the bottom line is stick with me, folks, <laughs> uh, if you can. Um, and we'll talk through this stuff. I think it's it's really interesting. It really is how this whole thing just works. The microbes in the soil, uh, they say for every teaspoonful of good, healthy soil, there's more microbes in that soil than there are people on this earth. That's pretty amazing to me. But if the soil's dead, you don't have healthy soil, you don't have healthy plants, you don't have healthy forage feeding the animals, the sheep, the goats, the chickens, the you name it, the ruminant animal, animal, animals, animals, um, so, good grief, a car just went by and I got distracted, they have names for that, I think it's just, I get distracted easy. Mm. And the girls want to move here, so they're probably getting a little bit tired of this yak, and, and maybe you all are too. <laughs> um, but anyways, folks, stick with me if you can, if you will. Something I have never mentioned in the video, because I didn't quite frankly know how many times I'm going to continue this videoing thing, but I'm going to try and keep after it. But if you want to help things out along, um, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment. If you're watching this and you're not a Christian and, I, and that's kind of turned you off a little bit, um, please don't let that. I'll talk to anybody about this stuff. There's no judging. Believe me, if anybody can be judged, it can be me. Um, but that's, that's the grace of the cross. Um, I don't want to keep... I mean, I do want to keep bringing that up, but I don't. Um, I don't want to scare anybody off from watching these videos. It's it's about farming, but I need people to know that <clears throat> I farm and I farm in a certain way because of because I believe that there's a creator who created me for a plan and a purpose that um, that I want to glorify. So, with that said, um, again, if you like what you're seeing here and you want to see more of it, if you want to learn with me, because like I said, I'm just scratching the surface here. Um, Hit the subscribe button, comment, be real. Uh, uh, if you don't like something that I'm saying, don't like something that I'm doing, let me know. Anyways, enough of that. It's a 10 minute long video already. So I'm gonna get the cows moved. They're, they're ready to move. I gotta get them their mineral. Something else we'll have to talk about in the future. But all right guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.